Hi guys, whoever has picked pile number four and this card over here. Now, I had to split this video to two guys, as you've noticed, because I wasn't planning to do it for such a long time. But you know, the stories are really interesting, so why not? Now, let me tune in firstly to your card and see what I'm picking up from this. First off, what I'm getting is this is someone's parent figure so this is someone's grandma this is probably someone's grandpa uh, in some cases it can be a mom too <clears throat> but this is a close family member and um, I keep hearing ancestor of some sorts okay a, lo a lot of feminine energy is coming through in this one and my throat <coughs> Is not okay now so maybe some of them had a problem with their throat or some of them were smokers or it's to do with speaking their words okay this part is really interesting because whoever this person is they had a really strong personality when it comes to um, this is no bullshit type of person even if it was a female this is someone who would have a lot of masculine in her and uh, this is someone also who would take care of business okay when when there is a problem or something needs to be sorted they're there to help okay let's take a look at i'm gonna use steampunk for you guys let's take a look at what else uh we have regarding this spirit guide of yours okay what other signs or personality we have here okay i see a uniform i see some water in the background very loving person okay so this is someone who um wishes you the best but they wouldn't be the one who who would um sugarcoat things for you okay okay a star that's definitely someone whom you've known and uh, this is probably someone who have seen you growing up and if it does, that, does, that part doesn't resonate, let it fly. As I say, there are too many of you guys. Just choose parts that are vibing with you right now. Why I said I saw uniform and water. If you take a look at my page of swords over here, I cannot focus it very much because of the ring light, okay? But this is someone who's about to hop on that hot, hot air balloon because they have a plan of some sort. Um, this is also someone who who has a connection with maybe military maybe I do see a pilot for some of you too uh, someone who had a connection with air with air with uh, sky and you know if you look at my Queen of Cups um, she is kind of saying hey I'm cheering you so whoever this person is they're really proud of you okay for pile number four this person this guide of yours they're very proud of you and they as if they want to cheer so that something happened in your life where you have achieved something over time and this is someone who is saying I'm proud of how much you've achieved okay and uh, whoever this person is they are your guide this is a really really nice card you have a star and they're saying I, I will always be your guide i'll show you the way i'll show you the way came through in my last reading as well i think at one point and it might be connected for you guys if you haven't watched that one i think it was pick your future seven days from now there was a situation like this okay now I see long hair and 
and I also see fabric of some sorts and a factory okay so i'll just throw these things out for you and i'm not gonna interpret it too much let's take a look at the messages from them here okay what it is that they want you to concentrate on i keep hearing in panel number three you're already on the good on the right track you are doing well but let's see what it is they want you to concentrate on I told you I kept seeing the, the uh, connection with Sky and I said it might have been a pilot of some sort or someone in military in general even if it's not this is your this is whoever this person is it can even be for some of you an angel okay so if you want to take a look at any reading after mine one where Arida is talking about angel messages. I think the angel that you pick, you might have to look them up and see how that vibes with your story. <clears throat> this spirit in general, they I told you, they are looking after you. If you can see, they're right above you and they're looking and they're giving you signs and it seems like they might whisper things to you. You might hear messages through music as well, okay? Take a look at the angel above over there. They're like, I'm watching your journey in life. So if you want to take any, any kind of journey, this is something that they're saying you need to concentrate on. Also, any kind of documents, if you have anything that has to be um, filled or if you're planning to apply for something, they're saying concentrate on that. And also talks about you having a high understanding. This, this spirit guide is saying, you are on a spiritual journey right now okay let me see what else here <clears throat> and my throat keeps playing tricks on me so it's something about speaking your truth guys okay they saying speak your truth in life and uh, i see some Eg egyptian symbols here as well Okay, I said long, he long hair. Now, my God, my throat is killing me. What the hell is going on here? Okay, got the message. Listen. If you have anyone around you right now, this, this spirit guide is acknowledging a person with long hair for you, okay? And I picked that up with a star card and I'm picking that up with the Queen of Wands over here. Um, very classy, very uh, intelligent and probably a, a fire sign here because I pulled the Knight of Wands here too. In this reading it's a bit different, um, the story is a bit different than in the other ones. They're saying that you are on the right track when it comes to your journey in life but there is one person and i see a lot of feminine energy coming from this person who is very good for you okay and it's probably someone who has longer hair someone who is attractive um someone who might work in a field where they have to wear uniform and i see a shirt um A black hat is coming through here and specifically in this reading we are talking about this person saying I've sent you this guide of yours is saying I've sent you one person for a reason okay you have been connected to someone here for a reason and uh, pay attention to this person I'm just gonna navigate this reading a bit differently than the other ones um, let's see what this person will bring you Okay, this is no bullshit type of person. Uh, this is someone who is very knowledgeable. Someone who um, is very strong and it almost feels like a very independent woman as if she doesn't need a man. Okay, there are men around her so you can flip situation situations. If that's the man you know in your life, then this is the man who doesn't need a woman to fulfill her life. Does it make sense? 
this is someone who's very knowledgeable if you look at my queen of swords she's holding a sword because that's her knowledge and then there is a hand of a man over there and she knows that um, that she has good connections she has good men around her but it's not that they she needs them it's more so uh, they are just like passengers on the way uh, this person will bring you a lot of knowledge let's see let's see what else and an idea of a fresh new beginning so who this person might be a key for you to opening the doors to something new that you're looking for right now and it might be a relationship <clears throat> it might be refreshing your relationship if you're in couples or one second or it might be um, no it's more to do with your with relationship internal relationship too for you guys ace of cups is talking about emotional fulfillment so this person might be guiding you how do i navigate my life in order to be emotionally fulfilled what it is that i need i'm looking for okay through this person it seems like you might find your other half or you might find this one thing that you have been looking for okay and it talks about a higher soul connection here so it seems like you have known this person in the past life as well this is someone who is very observant this person is the key to ending your troubles as well you see that so if uh, my camera focused for once I can't make it focus from the close-up I don't know why but behind over there you can see London and St. Paul's you know and it's all about that history of uh, the London burning but uh, it's also about one person who um, is in suit and um, they have their seems like a portfolio of some sorts uh, that they fell and they have like 10 swords in their bag this is saying this person might end your struggles in one way or another and whatever struggles you are going through right now it's not that they will take you and they will lead you it's more like they will um, they will make you understand things but in a way where it was in you all the time but they've touched on something, they said something or they've done something and you yourself then start changing things that you want to be changed, okay? And this person might bring you balance in your life too, okay? You have the temperance here. What it is that your spirit guide wants you to let go of? What's not working for you anymore? Okay, let go of illusions and let go of um i'll get to it in a minute i wanna and my throat is literally effed up all this reading <clears throat> okay give me a sec let go of making a move without a plan so if any of you um okay for some of you it can it can uh, talk about a person there's gonna be two scenarios some of you have to let go of a person who is committed um who is probably not the best person for you um and there might be illusions when we talk about this person maybe you see someone not not in a clear way there is some kind of illusion when it comes to this person this is someone who has a nice home environment and someone who has a stable job and probably this is someone who might be clouding cloud in your head and i don't know why and as i looked outside um first day in london after many days we don't have clouds and there is sun setting so it's something about this situation where let go of illusions okay 
and you need to have a plan before taking a trip of some sorts or it's talking about moving from one from bad place to a better place this is saying you need a plan okay but that plan has to be thought through and I paid attention to lightning over there and six of swords is talking about uh, someone jumping on that again planes are very important here guys so maybe it's talking about travel for some of you maybe uh, the spirit guide had a connection to planes in general but it gives me a vibe of someone in the uniform anyways this is saying have a better plan the plan that you have right now is probably not working for you for some of you this is someone who is um, maybe advising you incorrectly and I'm picking up this might be someone who lives not too far away from you or who works with you okay this pile keeps oh this is a pile about the movement and let me pick the cards and I'm gonna show it to you so we started with the page of swords then we had the judgment then I've pulled the six of swords and then the chariot chariot you know what it is chariot talks about literally travel and movement so for you guys if you look at all these cards travel hopping onto hot air balloon travel plane travel chariot travel okay so take note of that are you being drawn to somewhere are you being drawn to other place are you being drawn drawn to take a trip because it seems like some of you need to visit a country that uh, maybe you haven't visited before or see that country from a different perspective and maybe see if you would like to stay there. Yeah, because it seems like you have been choosing, guys, for pile number four. Um, you need to make up your mind, this is saying, okay? Your spirit guide is saying, make up your mind. Yeah. Whew. You might be wake some of you guys you might be waking up around between two and three in the morning and you might have visions or visitations of some sorts see that guy sleeping kind of okay and as it said as I said visitations of some sorts that Raven seems like just kind of came there to visit the person that's the clock that's the um, card I said you might see um, have visitations from two and three in the Empress card I do have clock shows between two and three o'clock okay so there is a very powerful spirit that is around you that is trying to tell you something in your dreams as well okay so pay attention to your dreams and probably the best thing for you would be um, to note them, them down okay everything that you have dreamed of and then um, leave it there and come back to it a month later and try to put your dream together with um, what has happened over time and see if there was any hidden messages for you that you haven't paid attention to and it makes perfect sense then okay because for pile number four it's a lot to do with messages coming through dreams for you and uh, the spirit is telling you stop daydreaming too much and stop um, there is a lot of illusions so maybe you have your mind is clouded right now by your own thoughts okay and the spirit is someone who is very strong as i said before this is someone no bullshit type they are like you know what i'm watching you do all these things and i have been sending you signs not only uh through this person that you have met or this person who is in your life uh for some time um, I have also it's like they would be speaking through the person to you okay and then they would be sending you signs through dreams as well so this pile is very interesting you need balance in your life right now and there is a fresh start that you're thinking about but this is to do with your own emotions okay with your fulfillment in life and uh, very strong connection you have probably around you I just saw a shadow over there so probably it's with me hey ho hello <laughs> I feel like pile number four would need a mediumship reading and I don't know why uh, maybe you have had one done recently it's something about that energy that this spirit is very present with me okay right now 
and that's why I can't shut up. It's been 20 minutes now, nearly 19.50. Um, you have a really, really good soul connection next to you. And uh, this is a lifetime kind of thing, okay? This is not just... Um, we do have soul connections come and go in our life and that's fine. We have people coming in our life that we've known in the past life, but they're there for a short uh, period of time and then they've done their part and then they have to leave. In this case, it seems like it's more of a, of a long, long connection that we are talking about. Very strong soul connections here in general in your life, guys. So you probably have a good group of people around you and it's not that you have many of them. You are very you are choosing very wisely and um, this spirit is seems like they're bringing the people in your life that you need at that time and they're speaking through them okay so if sometimes you feel like you thought of something and this person would say something about that topic this is your confirmation saying hey pay attention to that okay it's very strange plan number four but that's what i have for you let me know if it resonated uh and i'll speak to you soon bye for now hey pile number five so what i wasn't expecting to be doing is using my angel deck because i haven't used it for a really long time and it feels like for some of you that spirit might have something to do with angelic realm okay we're gonna split your we're gonna split um, your group we'll see what's gonna be coming through but I'm pulling out my angel deck okay and uh, let me firstly look at the intuitive card that you have picked here guys and let's see what I can pick up from this okay definitely angel wings coming through here now uh, for some of you this is for very li little part though this is a spirit of a deceased uh, that this person has passed away a long time ago okay and uh, it seems like maybe you some of you are not even uh, you don't know them very well it's something about spirit being so far away already and it gives me the vibe for the second part of you guys of an angelic realm okay so for you guys it splits to two but the angel whoever is looking out for you is a very powerful angel because they don't have time for small things they might be one of the big boys out there okay so if you ever been drawn to any um, any readings when it comes to angel maybe search on YouTube and find out which one it is for you or you can find that through meditation guys you can f find out through if you do have um, any divination tools yourself find out that way a bit of analysis has to be done here if you wanted to find out but whoever this says they are very they're up there okay so let me see what kind of I feel like in pile number five, I don't want to look at um, personality and things like that that I have done in the previous piles because this feels very angelic, okay? This is not, in many cases, someone who um, whom you've known or who has died, um, who has crossed over. That's a very high spirit. And let me see what it is, what kind of signs they might be giving you. We'll be picking up the signs from the angel deck okay okay very interesting i see an eagle and a snake eagle going towards a snake hmm. no snake going towards the eagle of some sort um a lot of okay pile number five you might see randomly coins laying around okay so that's the spirit guide saying hey i'm around i'm taking care of you maybe finances is something that you are um concentrated on right now but i do see a an apple tree okay and what that tells me so if you take a look at that card i'm sorry i can't focus it when i'm from close up but there's that snake going around okay and there's an eagle kind of 
an eagle. Um, but that apple tree behind it, it's saying um, patience is needed when you are waiting for the fruit of labor. It's something about um, picking those apples on the right time, okay? It's something about the patience here that is needed. And this angel might be, I'm just, I'm just gonna call it angel because that's what I see in pile number five, okay? If you have been drawn to any other pile, I feel like you might have one more, okay? So it's not only one type of spirit looking out for you here. Um, take a look at how they are taking care of you here. Someone who seems like they are poor or they don't have enough in life, uh, they are being helped out by an angel. Okay, and look at those massive wings. Um, pay attention to number six. And number six is also talking about movement. Taken from my personal life, okay? Okay, so you are literally being helped by an angel, guys, over here. Wow, okay. And the angel might come through as people as well. So this angel might um, connect you to people um, who who are their little helpers in a way. Okay, that's very nice here. So don't be surprised if you have people uh, in your life who tend to be not as close to you, but they somehow help you out without any reason. Okay, I said pay attention to number six. So here we go, two number sixes over here. I know it's not very visible, but let me try. Um, this is saying that, I don't know why I'm picking up for pile number five. Pay attention to your home environment, okay? Because it seems like that's something that has to be paid attention to. Do you wanna live in a nice home? Do you want to have a nice house? Do you want to have a nice family? Uh, this is saying pay attention to your finances. And it's interesting because usually angels are not the ones who would concentrate on the material. And in this case, it seems like this angel is somehow trying to get you out of a difficult situation when it comes to money and balance your life out in that way but also okay the strong message here is does any of you want to buy a house or you want your own place maybe you're renting now maybe you're not in the home you want to live it's something about that okay i keep paying attention to that house and mountains behind it um it's something about the location of this home here okay let's see what it is that this um, spirit wants to tell you what to concentrate on okay all about money guys all about money and again patience when it comes to money so what have what's happening in this card is these people are putting a bake in the coins okay and uh, they have to be patient, okay? And one of the people, one, the angel is looking you do that, okay? How you are building your own life. When you are saving money for something. And maybe some of you are saving money to move somewhere. Maybe that's the thing for you guys. It's like, um, it's a confirmation for you that it will come true and I see bricks. So it's all about building your future. Okay, but it's not gonna be as, you know, straightforward. It's more so talking about patience, 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 pile number five, unfortunately. And that will happen, yes. Uh, by the way, I don't know why, but this is coming through. You might have a celebration coming up of some sort. Uh, someone's engagement, sorry, I need to plug my Mac. I thought I did. Uh, for some of you guys, it will be um, a situation where you have been to someone's wedding or wedding is coming up and it's talking about friends getting together and then I see, I see a halo but that halo is made from a um, circle of birds, okay? So 
for those who have been to the wedding this is your confirmation you have an angel guiding you okay <clears throat> but i feel like there's one more spirit next to you guys so take a look at any other pile um for those who haven't been to the wedding yet uh, it's saying you will have a celebration soon not necessarily a wedding for some of you probably like a big celebration of some sorts um an anniversary maybe okay let me see what else here Re reunion of some sorts okay pay attention your your angel is saying pay attention to your intuition and birds are coming through here quite a lot and feather okay there is a woman in your life for some of you it can be a man as well but i just have a queen of swords that is why i'm saying that butterflies if you're looking for signs guys okay um it seems she reminds me of someone of a warrior type of some sorts okay that woman sits on her throne she's like I know my business and I feel like for a lot of you this angel is saying that's what kind of personality you have pay attention to your intuition because we have two of swords here it's uh, you need to close your eyes quiet your mind in order to see uh, to feel rather than see where it is that you want to go you are already empowered guys and it's something about you choosing the way how I go about this situation what do you need to do right now save money guys uh, for pile number five it's all about saving money 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 is something that is very important and I think I will not be picking anything up for you guys because someone needs to save money okay and what's coming through here as well you have a devil and an angel next to you okay in the in number four do you know why this is uh this is saying make sure you you don't become greedy so you're saving money in a healthy way you know so you have both you have black and you have white it's a balance for you that's needed what it is that you need to let go of what the heck is going on king of money here okay and as I said, maybe that is why I mentioned that make sure your thoughts are not concentrated on how, how poor I am because then you will go to the side of a devil and that's, that will become unhealthy. That is why maybe the king of pence is here saying make sure you feel that you are abundant already. What the heck is going on here? What do you need to let go of? Someone is stuck in one situation, they can't move eight of swords. You could actually start walking, but you don't want to because it seems like you are just too much in your head. Okay, pile number five. Take a look at this. So the um, legs are not tied, you are only tied up to here. And angel seems like they are about to set you free. So there's the beginning of freedom for you pile number five okay pay attention to number six and eight they are literally look they are they're trying to show you that um they're trying to take off that what is it like i don't know what it is exactly but there is a piece of uh, fabric over your over your eyes usually in the regular uh, tarot you have it on like in two of swords over here okay it's on you but here your angels are saying we are removing that for you so you can finally start seeing therefore you can finally start walking so the more okay for those who have been trapped for some time now this is saying this is the beginning of freedom for you and this angel is helping you out okay uh, number four is important for some of you too and it talks about stability usually um, it seems like some of you need meditation or to concentrate on your head uh, if you haven't started meditating or you have never tried this would be a good thing because you can get a lot of messages from above okay you have a really good connection to someone up there and uh, you'd get a lot from that 
okay this angel is literally meditating um, don't pressure yourself too much pile number one it feels like you put so much pressure on yourself uh, one step at a time because you will end up being anxious and depressed if you push yourself too much again you don't want to step in that devil side because it's right behind you here this is all about uh, someone being depressed down anxious because of something in their life and it's probably to do with your material wealth material um, things in life here and um, don't give in to that energy pile number five again you've chosen pile number five five talks about change um, five is a number that is not stagnant ironically okay and it seems like you might have been stagnant for a while so this is the beginning of a new chapter for you guys what it is you have to concentrate on something else here if any of you want to have a child this is saying this would be good for you I feel like having a child would change completely the way you are and think and it would bring new uh, ideas and beginnings in your life you would act differently therefore you would create a new future for yourself and a lot of swords in this deck in this uh, pile meaning that you are a lot in your head get out of there okay get out of there also we might be talking about air signs but don't pick it up that way here take those who resonate with that okay because i'm also see that you guys are in your head too much and as i'm speaking my this rest of mine started um, feeling funny so if you had any sensation uh throughout this reading uh, this is your indication that it's probably your angels or your guide saying hey we are around okay and I feel like you'll have, even those who are not planning a child right now, you will have a very, ooh, cards are flying. You will have a very um, special baby, okay? Something very special about this child over here. And again, I see a butterfly, so maybe check out what it means and only pick up the, the meanings that kind of vibe with you at that time. And as I was speaking about child, this is the page. Page is represented, representing children. So probably a lot of you. And again, this is a page of pentacles, money grounded. Probably you could you could have um, an earth sign child. Okay, that's very possible. Maybe for some of you here who already have children, you probably know what it, this is talking about. But again, one hand holding pentacle one hand holding a bird so pay attention to birds guys okay what well, there is something else that uh, you have to do right now let's see what else this is okay concentrate on love and loving others and loving yourself amor mio Okay, you're coming out of a massive cycle, guys. And for some of you, it might have been a decade nearly of something that hasn't probably worked out the way you wanted to. Pile number five is talking about a, a strong connection. So uh, some of you guys are married or even if you're not, you have uh, someone in your life who is wife or husband material already and take a look at we have the king of pants and we have the queen of pants when this happens in the reading you know that someone has the one around them if you don't yet uh that's gonna happen in the future because you have the two of cups here okay this is like a blessed um union okay what else do you need to do guys uh, I feel like that on your part you have already an understanding of some sorts when it comes to your headspace and this will start moving for you the cycle you'll start leaving the cycle over here if you can oh, I can, I'm sorry <laughs> if you can see uh, this has already started happening okay um, you are coming out of it things start moving for you so I hope this made sense I feel like I've been talking to there's one more thing that is unsaid for someone here, I feel like, but I cannot quite get a grasp of it. Uh, but I think a lot of you know what it is. 
kites coming through here as well because I just looked at the six of um, cups over here okay but overall you are being looked after AF here your guide is saying get out of your head get out of your head and uh, concentrate on the positive aspect because you might be drawing everything in uh, when it comes to your headspace and I think whoever has picked pile number five I always say whenever I see a situation like this um, Google Dr. Joe Dispenza okay he tells you how to get out of your headspace and how to start creating your future I know a lot of people talk about this but he put science together with spirituality and he has so much proof of people actually even healing themselves by their thought phys physically okay and how how can you create a new future if you keep being stuck in the same thought all over all over again there there is nothing new that can come into your life guys pile number five pile of change okay and uh, the moment you start visualizing and thinking it comes through meditation so for you guys i feel like you could really um use meditation for your own advantage guys here probably some of you haven't even tried that okay but it would be really good um how you create your own future if you twist it's like um you trick your uh, mind okay it's like he says you will at first start coming back to your own thoughts the thoughts that kind of keep you blocked and stuck but it's a bit like training the dog to sit down so you're training your mind to sit back down and think about the things you want to happen rather than things that keep you stuck in the past so the moment you know how to become a master of your own thoughts where you are thinking about the things uh, that you want to have as if you have them already that that's when uh, gratitude comes in play okay uh, that is when you start seeing things pouring in your life and changing i've talked so much in pile number five um thanks for listening to me for 21 minute now and uh i'll speak to you in the next hello guys whoever has chosen pile number six this intuitive card over here let me firstly <clears throat> tune into your storyline here let me pick information from your intuitive card that you have chosen sorry my laptop is being funny here all right you know, the first thing that I thought of when I looked at your card, I, I heard Medusa, I don't know why, um, some kind of water creature. And this reminds me a lot of, <laughs> Joe, if you've picked this pile, this is your demon, by the way, sorry, this is the Raven Tarot. You know, I do collapse with him, but that's what he reminded me of, this creature, he, it. Um, that's the sort of a vibe I'm getting. This is some, some kind of, spirit that has a connection with um water okay and um and i see like um a cave and some kind of letters in the cave as well so it can be going very far back No, I keep seeing um, literally um, some kind of a, a water creature. It's something to do with water here, guys. We're gonna pick pick it up from the tarot. But for you guys, I've been really drawn to using my intuitive deck in this pile here. So we'll use that too. But I feel like we will pick messages. Uh, who the spirit is from the goddess or healing tarot healing tarot let's do the healing one let me see what the spirit is like or any keys or any signs that you might see mm -hmm. okay this is a very powerful figure okay this is a very powerful figure figure here you 
might be picking things up from music from um, there's there are sounds I feel like coming in your head and uh, I feel like someone might be journaling things so if you have decided at any point of your life to journal things or write things down bullet points um, this is saying that that's the way to go you've listened it's something about that here but I don't want to scare you guys it seems like for some of you okay some of you guys might have to because that's what I'm feeling like you might have to watch the video of the Raven Tarot and I think he named it messages from angels and demons because that's what I'm getting here I picked up the demon first but then I have an angel here okay too so there's gonna be a message in one of those files for you guys as well it's so weird I never referred someone to someone else's specific reading usually I would just say hey look up you know angelic messages or something like that I feel like um, you might find something out specifically from demon in the Raven's Tarot reading okay And now I see the church so it's it seems like uh, those two energies uh, black and white are working very well together for you if anyone has seen any figure that has a dark there was a dark shadow guys and you might have seen a hat a bit like um, the hat man what what is he called black hat man okay let me google this now because I just need to know Mm, what are they called? The shadow person, <laughs> the shadow man, the hat man. Okay, so if you have seen that, you already know what, what I'm talking about here. Funny fact people are afraid of this, okay, but I feel like that's the one, um, that's the one spirit that is somehow taking care of you, okay. Uh, this vibe is not angelic, uh, I do have angelic kind of you know a touch of angelic here so probably is for those who are a little bit scared of things like this <laughs> to kind of ease you down but whoever this dark um, shadow is is the one that is kind of helping you out and this is a very very powerful spirit you should be proud to have them protecting you okay it seems like this is someone this entity okay is um they wouldn't protect just any anyone okay they would only protect the ones who are worthy and something you're doing something in your life that is and i pay attention to fountains i don't know what it is exactly about fountains or running water on or water in general it's um Maybe you've seen a fountain somewhere recently, someone has a picture next to the fountain, uh, you scrolled through social media, there was a fountain, you saw a fountain in a music video. Um, it's something about that here. And also the hat, okay? Take a look at my nine of pens over here and you already know what I'm talking about, okay? This is a very powerful figure someone who has a lot of power in them and then you have the judgment next to it saying this is my angel you know from above saying we're taking care of you let's see what what it is that this spirit is asking you to embrace no i feel like i want to ask why are they in your life in general any of you wants to move uh ships coming in here it's all about you know following those swords to get to the place where you want to be uh why they in your life they are guiding you from from stormy waters to calmer waters does it make sense and purple is very vibrant here so maybe if any of you meditate uh, you might have seen the purple color in your meditation blue and and purple is coming through here okay they are guiding you again number six what the heck is going going on and this is pile number six remember yeah um let me see what the lovers is talking about what they guiding why they in your life 
disappointed in your life they are who they are super protective over you whoever the spirit is they like you you're not gonna f with uh, my person okay they are literally someone okay i'm gonna talk to 0.1 percent of you whoever has um said whoever said bye to the loved one when we are talking about your partner husband or wife this is your um spirit that is looking after you but it's not gonna be many of you okay guys uh this spirit is saying i i got you look at my lovers here okay i got you and it's not like uh, that it's a uh, you know it's bad it's dark spirit this this shadow of you know the hat man or sh shadow of a dark entity remember that um you can make them work for you and sometimes they tend to like you for some reason because you might be doing something in your life that they approve of therefore they would help you out okay it's not that only um we see dark shadows here but you have an angel popping here too so uh, they work with both they're like it's fine you know if you don't believe let's say in dark entities or darkness or demons and stuff like this you can then swap it and say okay this is my angel if you are more comfortable with that okay but i feel like some of you have seen a lot of shadows uh in your life and dark just dark shadows passing by mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems like um, pay attention to crosses maybe you have cross on you or cross somewhere some connection with a cross here and again for me this is talking about uh, we have death and my death is very different from um, any other decks death here uh, it's a very happy death if you look at the at the guy's face over there so it's like the spirit is saying I found I found you and you are my little project because I want to guide you towards the light, okay? So they might be giving you a lot of ideas. Pay attention to ideas you have when it comes to nighttime. Towards the evening, you might get a lot of ideas. What is that they are trying to um, tell you to pay attention to in your life? Okay, one sec, guys. Pay attention to... very holy feeling to this so we have two scenarios one is very holy and one is very like dark shadows but they're both good okay don't get scared of this they are both really good so i have i had a lot of this in in i don't know why what's going on guys but it seems like a lot of you overall are stuck in something some of you more some of you less i think there was one pile who were like they, those guys are fine but here it seems like this spirit wants you to concentrate on again i keep getting travel here guys what the heck is going on um chariot talks about travel the world talks about travel seeing the world seeing different places what it is do you want to go on a trip of some sort towards someone that you like or love or someone you haven't seen for a long time Page of Cups is, you know, invitation. I'm going to show you my love. I'm bringing you my love. So this is something about that scenario here. Um, a very nice person, actually, whoever that is. And um, this is a respected person. This is someone, for some of you, little part, uh, who might have a really nice body. Um, it gives me a vibe of a dancer. Maybe they love dancing. It's something about, you know, li listening to the music and dancing around um but feeling free overall okay and then if you look at my chariot i'll try to focus as much as i can it never does but um look at that horse those the horses are majestic it seems like a um some kind of holy statue i don't know why i'm getting this but um maybe some of you just need to go to the church honestly i have this feeling here if you're looking for answers and if you are religious um go to church and just sit there okay and you might find some answers over there too but it seems like the spirit wants you to 
uh, take a trip of some sorts and we ha I see stars um, yeah it seems like the spirit the spirit has been telling you about something and it and it's about your own um, foundation it's about your security okay um, has been showing you that hey look take a look at this cup I have something new for you you can take it but you have been so uninterested all this time sitting with those three cups that you are aware of that you have that you haven't um, lifted your head to new opportunities okay here um, this reminds me of One second, this spell is very interesting. I, I think of things that I haven't even thought about for a long time. Mm. I don't know why, but um, there were, there was a message for you in the movie, The Butterfly Effect. So if you haven't seen it for a long time, or you have seen it recently probably it's not gonna be for many of you there was a message for you there but just dig deep for you to understand what it is because I really feel like you need to watch that movie to find out the information and it very much vibes with that guy over here you know because that cup has wings that have reminded me of that movie and I don't even know why wait 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 Oh shit, guys. I wish I okay, I'm just gonna lift the lift the laptop and we're gonna take a look at this. What the hell is going on here? Okay, wait. Look at the colors of this card here, okay? Then look at the I'm just gonna break everything. Look at the colors of the um mobile and then wait. Look at the colors of this butterfly here, okay? So this is very connected for you guys. I don't even know why, but maybe read about this movie. Something has to be picked up from it for you. And uh, this spell is very mysterious and very nice. Like, I feel like you are very, you are special people, pile number six. Okay, it's talking, the spirit is talking about friends, choosing friends wisely. And you have a little group of people who are nice, okay? celebration of some sorts and then we have the empress and uh, this empress has a crown okay and the celebration is very much connected to the crown i see there is a celebration and the crown of some sort so maybe you had a celebration or um, the celebration will be coming up and um this spirit wants you to embrace your own beauty not only externally but internally too okay this is saying go out and live your life don't be stagnant do not sit like this because you have a lot to celebrate okay i feel like you might be invited somewhere or you just was okay let's see what it is you have to let go of let go of being wanting to be a winner at all times, okay? You don't have to, don't put that much of pressure on your shoulders because it seems like you want to be the, on top, okay? You want to be the top of the top, but this is saying take it easy. One step at a time, number six is coming through here again, as you have noticed already. And um, I just can't leave that. There's something about this movie, man. I wouldn't be surprised release date 16 of april 2004 if you put two and four together it's six something about this movie guys i can't let it go okay <clears throat> and it says while unconscious he is able to travel back in time and alter the past but this causes drastic changes in his present life does it vibe with your situation does it say something to you okay what it is that you have to let go let's see what justice is talking about mm -hmm. this thing don't give up don't give up on what
something about your finances here uh, some of you very little part might have um, some kind of court dealings or had in the past if it's still ongoing this is saying don't give up and have faith okay for but don't give up not in the way where you have to keep on fighting okay this is saying no if you feel like this whole situation is unfair and that's all that you could do let it go okay walk away like that guy in eight of cups let it go we don't always have to be a winner and it's gonna be better for you okay but if you know that there's still some bits that have to be filled in something about that when it comes to um any kind of formalities okay if you see that uh you've done something you filled it incorrectly and uh, everything is done on your part but something is not moving the way you want it to this is saying probably this is not your path to walk okay maybe you have a different path that's gonna show itself very soon for you um for you guys it seems like You need to concentrate on structuring your life when it comes to if you work in a team or if you have a if you have someone who is a boss type for you that you look up to i see a lot of stubbornness and i see going like this okay this is saying you need to find a way how to collaborate with people in a healthy way but do not try to prove yourself because that might be something that will f you up in a way in one way or another uh let down your guards put down your crown know when it know when it's time to put down your crown okay and to accept that um you have what's the word i'm looking for there is dy dynamic at work, okay? And it's somehow you have to find a way, or in your finances, you have to find a way how to make it work for yourself. And um, something about you guys wanting to be a boss or a winner when it comes to your finances or work. And uh, it seems like you might need a different approach to this. Okay, let me see from the intuitive deck what approach you should be taking when it comes to your finances how you have to be know your boundaries you have a lot of ideas but know the boundaries okay you have to respect boundaries and make sure people respect your boundaries too it seems like it's math i feel like um some of you might be in the wrong place or you might um you might see things changing in your workplace soon okay freedom is coming through here so maybe sooner if you see that this keeps repeating sooner or later you might be um letting things go concentrate on your home environment first of all now maybe this is some, there's something missing in your home environment or you wanna you wanna improve something concentrate on that that might be a key that might be a key when we are talking about improving other areas in your life. That's very strange, I know, but that's what I'm seeing. Concentrate on your home beauty. It's something about this here. Maybe some of you have moved recently or you will. If you have, don't pay attention to this message. This is saying you're on the right track. Um, it seems like you have to detach yourself right now when it comes to your finances or yeah detach yourself and find what it is that your soul wants to do how you want to be how you want to be as a person when it comes to business in general this is saying um do not lose yourself okay yes you can want you can be a winner but for you to get there you have to approach the situation in a different way that you have had before but this whole time do not lose your head do not lose your morals and values that you go by okay one more you might be receiving a message within i would say half a year for you guys from whenever you're watching this video you'll be receiving a message and it's probably gonna be
it seems like you, it's gonna be from far away it's not like somewhere around you but it might be to do with work from further away okay not where you're at now it feels like maybe there is some kind of there is someone who might be living in a different city or even country who might send you a message of some sorts when it comes to your work okay yeah you definitely will be getting that but firstly pay attention to how you want to be as a person what you want to achieve what it is that you're looking for are you looking for um are you looking for fame and you're looking for respect or you're looking for peace and comfort because these are two different things okay and uh, some people just want to live life having enough money uh, but living a peaceful life where you can still travel you can see your friends and family uh, you can buy things that you want in your home maybe have not the most amazing house ever but have a decent household and be just in peace with yourself or you want to fight and go and you know do more than everyone else but then when it comes to that it feels like there is still something in you that has to be fixed because it seems like you are not just you're not ready just yet okay it's something about that here you guys want to be winners here and uh you want to be very respected hmm. pay attention to women in your life it feels like um there is there is a fish around you somewhere okay so uh, you probably know who that is and it might be at work for some of you it might be friend of a friend there is an energy of female who is not super nice and maybe this is the one that might you might want to give justice to okay you want them to get their own karma this thing don't get involved in this because they're gonna get their own karma just pay attention to your own self and what, what it is that you want to do okay i've been talking for half an hour and pan number six amazing so i hope i'll see you soon guys uh, let me know if that has helped out in comments down below and i'll catch you in the next one bye for now